Well, I'm back on the creek again. This will be the fifth time I've been on a creek in the last seven or eight days, and it's just been horrible. And I've always been known for filming horrible, but that gun, I mean, even just very few flakes, not much debitage. There's so many places I'm trying to hunt over and over. So I thought I'd come down here to this creek and do something a little different today. So maybe we'll find something. Hang around. We'll talk about it. I'm D.W. Verts, Hick Billy Outdoors, going up the creek. So this is interesting enough that the landowner has been here hauling some gravel out. It's legal to haul out without getting in the water in Missouri. And he's cut down, oh golly, almost two foot. I, the level, yeah, pretty close to it, 18 inches anyway. So that leaves a lot of new gravel to look at. Well, I said I was gonna do different today, except look this over real careful, because obviously this is stuff I haven't seen before, maybe ever, probably never. Is I generally have been hunting downstream. Found a nice blade down there last fall, about a quarter mile. But about a half mile or so up that way is a major highway. Well, a highway where all the people come in and basically trespass. That's another video we need to do probably someday. It'd probably upset some folks. But I'm going to hunt that way. Um, I don't do it very much. And, of course, it's a chigger-filled mess. Get back over here in the creek, go, and I'm going to try it a little bit different. Try to make something happen. We'll see how it goes. After I look all this over, because there's a lot of cool stuff to look at right here. Folks that are been on my channel a lot probably get tired of this. I haven't done this for a while. New folks need to understand some of the things you're looking for. And there's a core. You just learn to look at the way the hits have been taken off of it. It's banned at Jeff City Church. And if you learn to look, you can see where it's been hit on. That's just a core. I don't, I mean, probably there's never a tool. I mean, Maybe some woman hit her man over the head with it. But it's still real pretty core. We've got piles of them, but that's that's a sign. Again, it's all clues. And if you don't understand how I know that's a core, I did that video just last week, um, understanding debitage kind of thing, where I, I make that kind of stuff real quick. You might look at that video. It's kind of it give you some more clues to the scene of the crime. So for the reality TV <laughs> portion of the program, I just went back to the vehicle and got me some anti-horse fly repellent because I got took. Ow. I sprayed my hat a little bit on my back. Ram sucker got me on the leg. It took me a little while to catch him. It's horse fly season in Missouri. Probably a lot of places. Them suckers are nasty. Hopefully that was... What's going to follow here is the <clears throat> scream like a little girl part of the program. <laughs> We've had some fantastic weather here in Missouri. Starting in the middle of August, we're the third week of August now. We've had a a fair number of days in the 80s, a few in the 70s, even one anyway. But the nights have been the 60s, and even a couple nights ago, it was 59 degrees. That's pretty pretty neat for the middle of August. But these creeks that run cool most of the time anyway because of all the spring water. <laughs> They're gonna be cold. They've been cold all week, so this is a Go ahead and just get in and get over with. Oh, it feels so good. <laughs> and here comes shrinkage. Oh, well. I said I was going to make a video today if I had to make stuff up. And I'm going to. I'm going to talk about whatever. I'll make something out of this. That's the joy of editing. I want to point out when you're in these ditches and these creeks, it's so important to spend time looking up on them banks like that. Because that's where a lot of the stuff, of course, comes from. It, it, you can see how it's been washed out, even just this year, all the roots hanging out. And it, it's hard. Truthfully, for me, it's easier for me to make a day just out of that. Like, after I've hunted a creek, to come back and just hunt those banks and look. It's not very often, but I have found some really serious good good stuff. Some of it fell down, you know, where it's hit the edge of the gravel here. I found my first cache ever of five points across the creek, looked up there and saw that, saw them poking out of the bank. I saw them one day 
fishing. I was what, 14 years old, 15. Never really thought about it. And the next day or a couple days later, I was there and I got hung up with a lure. In some, actually, a bullfrog ate my lure and got me hung up in some grass. I had to wait across there. I remember, I th where's that rock I saw? And it was five big blades and, and two LEs and three sedalia points. A cash. That was hard to take. So just a point, pointer there. Look on these banks. I don't know what this is here. Yeah. Rock all square. You don't see that? I mean, like... Oh, just interesting boy it ain't nothing but that gum is interesting kind of squared off like that you never know another tip um, whenever you're around tree roots whether it's on dry land or in the creek when you're in the territories where ancient man used to be you want to look careful because this one's a little bit too far gone but tree roots hold on to points and in a lot of situations hold points up, bring stuff up towards the surface. So I take special care to look up underneath those roots because stuff will be hung up. It was held up over the years by trees. There's a lot of power in them roots. So that's just another little tip there. I'm trying to think of things to make this interesting because nothing else is happening yet. Oh well. Well it ain't nothing, but I said I was going to film it all today. You know, I can't hardly tell if that's a finished piece at one time or not. It sure is worked down like a drill. It's just not shaped right. I don't know. It's interesting. But you can see where it was hit on and napped on, made to a point. You know what? That's going in the rock pile. That's going to the house. You know, creek hunting is cool. <clears throat> Beautiful. It's the way I grew up fishing, hunting, and these creeks, trapping them, whatever. And I found a lot of artifacts in the creek before, but you got to figure that out up there. The territories. I mean, they visited the creeks, but they lived up in there. That's what you got to figure out, and that's what I'm heading for next. I got two major things I'm going to try arrowhead hunting. Well, try. I, I mean, I've I've dug many times. I've done both these. I, it's going to be kind of an interesting thing. It's it's in the future, so if this is baiting y'all, that's good. It's going to be worth watching, I hope. I tried it. One of the things a couple times just the last few weeks and it hasn't panned out. I don't have the equipment set up yet. Anyway, there's a. I'm hoping to do some pretty big things. One of them will be digging. That's that's no secret. I've as the weather cools down, I'm gonna start trying to first of all make sure I got permission, and I'm gonna start doing some test holes and find where I want to do a dig, and I'll continue the. The dig I've already got going on right now in the in the shelter, I'll get back on that pretty soon. I've been up there for several weeks. How's that for rambling thoughts? I'm telling you what, the one is going to be giving away maybe my biggest secret. Yeah, my biggest secret in arrowhead hunting. I'm going to give it away, but i got to kind of get set up on it first so I can prove it to y'all. More rambling thoughts, but I said I was going to do that today. I'm just going to film a little bit of everything. <laughs> that looked like a notch underwater. Isn't that horrible? Where these ditches come in, y'all, I'm sure it's not hard to figure out. Those ditches, over the years, it's not, you're not going to find a load of stuff, most likely, maybe, I don't know. But where those ditches come into these creeks, and where, where two creeks come together, I'm not going to go up that ditch today because the skeeters are carrying me off. I've been up here before. But where these ditches dump in is always a good spot to look. So there's another, they call those pros pointers. If I was a pro, it'd be a pros pointer. Another meandering thought, because I've said this before, but I got a lot of new people watching my channel. For a tip, I just now come back out of that ditch and tripped over all these big old rocks and stumbled around. And glad I didn't have a camera on because it would have been pretty ugly. Um, these bigger rocks are key for me. You find points where you find points. They're where they're at. Okay? But in my experience, over and over and over, even this year, 
I rarely find artifacts on pretty gravel banks. I know they're there, but I find way more when you get around these baseball, softball, football, cantaloupe, big-headed people sized rocks. Um, I think it slows water down. I think it makes them get trapped easier. That bank, that whole thing over there has got them boulder, small boulder rocks. So, always, you got to look everywhere. That's just all there is to it. There's no secret that I can teach you except that when I am around these bigger rocks, traditionally I find more stuff. That dang little horse fly got me a while ago, and I've got a welt on my leg. Holy cow, he's a little bitty one too. Dirty bugger. So another random thought as I stumble around here. Gorgeous water. I can't believe I'm not seeing anything. Got some fish swimming around and a lot of crawdads and the water's feeling pretty nice. I was thinking about all the years I've done this. Um, how many points I've found in the creek over the years, and there's been a bunch of them, but what were they and what else have I found in the creeks? And it's kind of interesting. For instance, I think I found one piece of pottery ever in the creek. I think that was this year. I think in one of my videos. I don't remember. I have never found a, what we call a bird point. I don't call an inch, inch and a half long point a bird point. I found some of them before. Never found a bird point in the creek. Never found an axe, a celt in the creek, and rarely find an adze. Once in a while, but it's pretty rare. Why is that? And do anybody else have those kind of experiences? Now when it comes to the points that I find in these creeks, I found a little bit of everything. But, I find three to one, maybe better than that, of landslip points to notch points. Way more blades compared to five pointers. What's, everybody else find stuff, is that what you all find too? I've come to the conclusion over the years, I think the reason why that is, is because the landslip points and the blades were so often used in these creeks. Spear points. I think ancient man had them points on a stick sometimes, or maybe an atlatl dart, but mostly on a stick. And they'd go through these creeks. We had, yeah, I mean, this creek here had way more fish in it when I was a kid. I mean, big old suckers and bass. And anyway, that's, that's things change. But I think they come out in these creeks with spears. And they spear whatever they could spear. Uh, they'd spear a beaver if they could, maybe. So those points got left in the creeks more often and broke in these creeks more often than the notched points. That's my theory. What do y'all think about that? I'm interested in hearing it. What do you find where you hunt? Do you find the same thing happening? Or I'd like to know. That's interesting stuff to me. That's the thought process that I have, how my brain works. Look at that. I got two hands full. I got that's a nice piece right there. I'm not really sure what I got right now. I'm gonna get over here and where I can get a hold of it. That was a little bit deeper. I wanted to reach in. That's a beautiful piece. I don't really know what it is. It may not be much of anything, but it's a beautiful piece. Look at that. Yeah, I guess I'm gonna call that a little core. Oh my gosh, look at that. Well, it's got a slightly worked edge. That thing just, man, that's just gorgeous. Look at that. That's what we're here for. I mean, well, okay, I want points, but that's an artifact. It's not a core. It's been worked down a little bit. That Who knows what they do with it. See that edge has got extra napping. It's been sharpened up. That sucker is just beautiful. That's cool. Starting to worry. Been 200 yards, hadn't found anything. Look. Look at these fish. I disturb that bottom and every fish in the creek shows up. The 
the creek chubs, the little brim. Look at that, they're crazy. I turned up some bottom, there they are. That's just feeding them too. That's, guys, that's just purdy. I mean, it's not a lot. It's not, for most people, that's nothing. Got that peach, got that clear quartz. Yeah, I'm, I'm tickled with that. It's not fancy, but it, it goes in the pocket. I'm not being a wuss here, but there's a certain depth that I'm just not comfortable in getting in over. And I'm pushing it. I mean, it, it's, it, it's just not that big a deal, except there's just certain things I don't want to get wet. How's that for horrible? <laughs> I'll give you all a meandering thought. This arrowhead hunting, you can't always get what you want. But if you try sometimes, you just might find you get what you need. How's that for original? That's Hickbilly Wisdom right there. Or something. I hope I get enough out of this to put together a video that some of y'all enjoy. I know it can be kind of boring, but hundreds of hours sometimes with little to show for it but it's what we do it makes the, the really good days that much better peace y'all talk at you later